the deep notions that we are not a static entity, but rather a constantly self-constructing entity start all the way back from the earliest moments of embryogenesis. To give you an example, if you take a flat blasted disc, in that case of a duck, take a little needle and you make scratches in that blastoderm. And so when you do this, you basically separate that initial blastoderm into islands. And what happens is that for the next few hours, every island is not going to be able to sense the presence of the others, and it's going to self-organize into an embryo. And eventually they'll heal up and then you'll get a single blastoderm. But by then what you've got is a collection of conjoined twins. And it might be two, and it might be three, and it might be a half a dozen. And so the question of how many selves are in a particular embryo is actually unclear at the beginning. You don't know that because what it is is this kind of ocean of potentiality. We're a dynamic process right from the beginning.